Well, we're out front today, working in the garage, I guess. Um, last video for the Chevy, you seen us tip this cab up like that. It actually worked out pretty good, but uh, it's been raining every day since then. And today I woke up to sunshine, so I ran right out here, drug the thing out, and we're gonna do some sandblasting. Gotta get this roof before it starts getting holes in it. Um, I also got paint. So we're gonna try to prime and paint what we need to do today. Um, that'll primarily be the bottom. We're gonna get all the rust and mud off of the bottom here. Get it cleaned up real good with my uh, Harbor Freight sandblaster that still seems to be working i just did a little test run and uh basically i'm going to do from the bottom up to this seam i'm going to get right after it before the sandblaster decides to screw up on me all right <clears throat> see if it's working i'm gonna waste a couple of and just like that. Well, the first attempt was a disaster. Got clogged right here at the tip. Open, and all the pieces inside the tip went flying. I've been looking for them for the last hour. The compressor's been running for basically the whole time there, it just shut off. But uh, I just put that new motor on there, try to burn it up right off the bat. So here's what we got so far. Okay, so basically these support rails, these are the only thing that was rusty. But the floor pans really ain't, ain't bad. It's just them braces. And that's just kind of surface stuff. You can see, I mean, this is pitted, but it's not destroyed. That, that had a little bit of a rougher life for some reason. I just put that patch in there and I could see inside of here and that's inside there isn't bad either. And get this real good also because once we push this back in the barn, I'm gonna weld that all back together. Well, I got all the sandblasting done it was a little bit of a job fighting with the sandblaster the hose kept falling off and then it would get clogged up and then it would run out of sand but i got the roof done got all that surface rust off the roof and did these floorboards so they had a little bit of surface rust in them both sides got a hell of a mess in here to clean up Weld that all back together quick, and then I'm going to start painting.
that's pretty good. Uh, some of it's not lined up exactly perfect, like right here. But, you know, a hack job like that, what are you gonna do? Okay, fully welded. Um, don't really care what that looks like. It's kind of standard practice. Um, I wanted to do the majority of the welding of this on this side. I'm just gonna take a wire brush to that, clean all the shit off it so the paint will stick. I don't know if I showed you the roof. Well, I'm gonna get the primer ready to spray here, get it all mixed up. Well, the battery died. I didn't look to see where it ended, but uh, that's what you're gonna get because it's all done. I sprayed all this, the underside of the cab. That primer was really thick. I didn't put much reducer in it, but uh, you couldn't make that stuff run if you tried. And I kind of tried in a couple of spots just to see what would happen, but nothing. So I got, you probably missed this. This is the floorboards inside the truck. Um, got those done. And the roof. I got a quart of black implement paint. Uh, I'm probably going to put the entire quart on the bottom side of this cab. The paint is probably going to lay down different than the primer did, so I'll have to uh, probably be more careful. I just kind of rifled this stuff on there and wasn't quitting. On a sour note, though, because I was in such a hurry to paint it, so it didn't flash. It's like 8.30. It's bedtime. Okay. Uh, these are the seat seat belt bolts right here they broke this one and the one on the same spot on the other side they broke um i wanted to weld nuts on this side and pull them through i'm still gonna do that but this is i'll probably do that before i lay the color down on this still gotta weld the inner cab corners make the inner cab corners and weld them in Basically, this whole bottom section is going to be foobard from extreme heat. Here's a short and curly. If there's any more footage after this, you'll see more of what's going on. Otherwise, I'm ending it.
right now. Well, I think that guy needs a nap. Um, there is plenty to come on this build. Got lots of stuff in the works. Um, I'm actually probably three weeks out from when you're seeing this video and uh, there is a lot of stuff that's already gotten done. So the next time you see us, we're gonna be fabricating those inner cab corners, welding them in and spraying uh, the color on the bottom of the cab, plus a lot of other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to keep these videos a little on the shorter side from now on. So uh, I guess with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.